This satellite, the Solar Dynamic Observatory, is NASA's newest tool in their mission to learn more about the sun, which begs the question, what's to learn about the sun? The, the sun is, would be a boring star, except it has a magnetic field. And we are trying to understand where the magnetic field comes from, how it comes through the surface, and then what happens to that field to create space weather that affects us here on the Earth. Yep, weather. Discovery Channel's Dave Mosher and I recently caught up with Dean Pesnell, project scientist for the SDO, as he prepares for its scheduled launch in December. You're saying space weather. Are we talking, uh, you know, waves and, and rain and clouds here? What, what type of weather are we, are we speaking about? Yeah, it really is weather. We have lightning, solar flares. With the energy of millions of atomic bombs, solar flares can cause significant disruptions to electrical devices here on Earth and in orbit. And then when that light hits our atmosphere, it causes the atmosphere to expand, and that expansion then causes satellites to fall out of orbit. To study that rather annoying habit, NASA is sending the SDO to take a deeper look at the sun than ever before. Why is the magnetic field so important? Measuring that magnetic field is the kind of the holy grail of solar physics. But not just measuring it, we want to understand where it came from. And that could help NASA scientists predict the solar variations that affect us here on Earth. To do that, the SDO will employ several key instruments, like the Atmospheric Imaging Assembly, or AIA. And it takes images of the sun in ultraviolet that show the corona of the sun. So very hot plasma that's suspended above the sun's surface by magnetic fields. And it's illuminated uh, enough that we can see it in these telescopes. Then there's the Extreme Ultraviolet Variability Experiment, or EVE. EVE looks at all the wavelengths because it's those wavelengths that are heating our atmosphere and causing space weather. And it will use AIA to tell it where those uh, wavelengths were produced, where that light was produced. And the Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager, or HMI, which maps the sun's magnetic fields and measures its surface velocity to understand what's happening in its interior and even give researchers the ability to look through the sun. And say what's happening on the other side. And so that's a, a first prediction of space weather two weeks from now. Essentially making Pesnell a space weatherman, and possibly more accurate than our earthbound ones, judging by the staggering amount of data that SDO will be sending to the ground. SDO is sending 150 megabits per second to the ground 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for at least five years. It's 500,000 iTunes downloads a day. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.